Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, we're taking a look at Polygon Matic. It's on the cusp of a major breakout. So we're gonna look at the technicals, fundamentals, and on-chain data. So if you enjoy that content, ensure that you subscribe to the channel and also check out the link down below for Celsius, where you can get roughly 10% APY if you are holding your Matic. You'll also get a nice sign up bonus if you do this as well. So check out the details in the pinned comment. Now here we have the Matic token from Polygon Network at $2.29. It's up 10%, one of the best performers today. Current market cap is $15 billion. And the question must be posed, is this one now undervalued? Because it peaked out with a previous all time high all the way back on the 18th of May here. So it's roughly six months down the line, plus change since we saw that all time high. So when will we see that return to glory? As you can see, it looks a ways off on this chart. And since this point, we've had quite a bit of a turbulent run, but as you can see from the pattern there, it does look like it wants to break out now. So let's jump into this from Tech Dev. So he's suggesting that Matic here in 2021 is gonna have a similar run to ETH, the previous cycle in 2017. An early, very big run, followed by a period of consolidation for months on end. Typically, the longer the consolidation period, the better the breakout. And then this from ETH back in 2017, you can see massive early run, consolidation for a long period of time, once again, roughly six months, and then finishing with a bit of a flurry into the new year, ETH doing almost a 4X during that part of the cycle. So with Matic around two bucks right now, could we see a 4X, maybe up to $8? Well, we'll have to wait and see. But what we can see from this chart here is that we had this ascending wedge pattern. The $2 resistance overhead here, signified by this yellow line, beat Matic down quite a few times, but we recently just broke this. And yesterday we had a bit of a retest of it as well. And now we're using it as a launch pad. So to get all the way back up to our previous all time high here, we're looking at a gain of roughly 16% just to get back up there. But I think potentially we can do a lot better than that. So we're seeing quite a lot of layer one blockchains breaking out, whether or not Polygon, you want to call it a layer one, technically it is, but it is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum or a side chain is also how people refer to it as well. Well, what is the flavor of the month right now? We're seeing a lot of trending narratives coming for ZK, zero knowledge proofs. So they have this coming up very soon. So this builds into the fundamental side of things and the news narrative. Polygon has ZK Day coming on December the 9th. So nicely timed, click on the link and you can sign yourselves up for this. We can see the schedule here, the co-founders here, Sandeep, JNT and Mihalo, all starting off with about a 20 minute introductory chat here. And then we have a big announcement from the team as well to come. So an announcement of an announcement, always good to see, but I think this will be an action packed day where we can learn a lot more about how they're gonna further scale Ethereum on Polygon utilizing ZK technology. Also down here, we have a shout out for Polygon Hermes, a recent acquisition. So what's been going on as of late and why so bullish on Polygon? Well, it launches Maiden for Ethereum scaling. So as they say down here, Polygon is a layer two Ethereum scaling platform. And it today announced the launch of Polygon Maiden, which uses advanced zero knowledge ZK cryptography to enhance the scalability, privacy and security of Polygon and ETH. So Polygon Maiden here is an EVM compatible scaling solution using zero knowledge, scalable, transparent argument of knowledge. All for sure and easier to say, just ZK Stark, another term you have probably heard of right now. And this technology reduces the amount of information that needs to be transferred between users and enables transactions to be verified at a faster rate, higher TPS and throughput. Building on top of this narrative, we also have Vitalik coming out and saying in the Shanghai International Blockchain Week that layer two is the future of Ethereum scaling. We also know that Polygon has had a lot of funding as of late and has quite a bit of money in the coffers. They recently splashed out $1 billion here in ZK related efforts and its ZK based scaling solutions now include Polygon Hermes again and Polygon Nightfall. They actually managed to acquire Polygon Hermes fairly recently. It did say kind of a merge on the news article, but it sounds like money was transferred from Polygon to these guys and they've essentially taken on their chain. So does this now put Polygon and their united partnerships here in the front row seat for scaling Ethereum? Well, if you want to have a little look at Hermes network as well. So this is one of the ZK 
based tokens you can actually invest in right now. The token is HEZ, H-E-Z, and it is on the cusp of a breakout here as well. It just peaked its head above a previous all-time high, 789. Previous all-time high was around $7.61, so it's just snuck ahead of this here. No huge volume as of yet. Does this mean we are super early? And is this one of the ZK solutions we should be investing in right now? potentially is my answer to that one. Now, just to highlight some of the key differences between ETH and the layer two Polygon here, it is super, super efficient to move your funds on Polygon and actually interact with DeFi platforms. So just basically doing a transfer on ETH of a token right now costs around $13.73 on Polygon 0.7 cents. So chalk and cheese your token, hundreds of X's in difference there. NFT transfers, even worse, $32 versus about one cents. Performing a swap, $84 versus four cents. OpenSea registration, which is a pain for many, $91 versus 13 cents. So you can see why many of the Ethereum layer one dApps have migrated over to Polygon, the likes of SushiSwap, Aave, and more, because this is where their user base can actually afford to transact. So I think this will continue. And what we'll see is Ethereum, the layer one, being used just by, you know, big institutions, people with huge bankrolls. And essentially, we can just start counting Ethereum as a store of value right now. So spending your ETH on gas, I think, will be foolish as we can just come and utilize some of these scaling solutions. So you'll probably want a bag of a polygon for gas on the network, but also for the potential upside if it does take on significant load from the ETH L1. So major proposal passed in November. So this was the proposal from Mihalo from Polygon, deploy Uniswap V3 to Polygon POS chain. So he proposed to authorize Uniswap Labs to deploy Uniswap protocol to Polygon. We believe it's the right time for Uniswap to deploy here for several major reasons. Polygon has the second strongest DeFi ecosystem right after ETH. Deploying to Polygon can bring a lot of benefits such as user-based growth, huge savings for the end users, higher user activity, revenues, market capture, and a return to the original DeFi vision, etc. We're also willing to incentivize Uniswap adoption financially and otherwise. Polygon is also very battle tested right now. We've seen Aave with a huge amount of TVL on there and Polygon is aligned with Ethereum and its values. They always reiterate that they're not trying to be an ETH killer. They want to work for ETH and be a scaling solution for Ethereum, which is a very positive narrative to have when a lot of people like to be tribal about their blockchains in general. We've seen the kind of argy-bargy between the likes of AVAX, ETH, Solana, and so on and so forth. If we just scroll down here, you can see what they're proposing here. They state that Polygon is the most adopted scaling effort so far, 3,000 applications, and over a billion transactions processed, over 100 million unique addresses, and 5 billion in assets secured. Now, in terms of the incentivization, so they're actually willing here to put forward $20 million worth of Matic tokens. So up to 15 million for a long-term liquidity mining campaign and 5 million for a special purpose DAO focused on the overall adoption of Uniswap on Polygon. So you can imagine with 15 million worth of incentives, we're gonna see what happened in the earlier part of this year when RV was heavily incentivized over on Polygon. We had a load of yield farmers taking full advantage. And what you get with that is a lot of people just stay afterwards. They enjoy the experience. It's EVM compatible, so it feels like ETH, but it's super, super cheap. So if they have a long-term liquidity mining campaign and they can maybe subsidize the use of Uniswap or boost APYs on some LP positions, etc., you're gonna see a lot of people coming and utilizing this. So I think this makes a lot of sense and potentially you'll see a big amount of TVL from Uni over on the Polygon network. So this then passed 7.79 million uni voted, almost 100% yes votes, only 25K was required. So Polygon said thanks to the entire Uniswap community and they're expecting to deploy this in the coming weeks. One of the comments to Mihalo was, won't this take months now? And he was like, no, if this gets passed, we can work pretty quickly. So hopefully, and potentially this could be the big announcement coming on December 9th during their ZK day, but we'll stay tuned for all of that. On top of this, you may have missed this one, Polygon, the first scaling solution for Coinbase. We know they've teamed up with Coinbase here. Protocol was recently established at Coinbase to work on scaling ETH through integration with L2s and other ETH scaling solutions. And the Coinbase team plans to integrate Polygon as their first scaling solution 
for their network. So this from Sandeep at Polygon. We are happy to be of good help to the Coinbase protocol team by offering scaling solutions to Ethereum. Polygon POS is the fastest growing ETH scaling solution with high speed and low gas infrastructure. This will certainly help to improve the Coinbase user experience. We know Coinbase have high fees. Maybe they can start reducing these if they start leveraging Polygon. Additional to this, we're seeing a load of exchanges supporting the Polygon network. So they list Binance, Trust Wallet, Huobi, OKXia. On top of this, we also have Crypto.com integrated. So you can directly deposit and withdraw to the Polygon chain from Crypto.com. And we know that app was trending number one in the App Store over the last few months. So this is certainly a bullish thing as well. And the easier it is to just utilize this network, the better for adoption. So I think we're seeing that the ducks are in a row here for the Polygon chain. If you just jump through their Twitter, there's a barrage of recent information of upcoming events and bullish sentiment, including this Orion money deploying on Polygon. This is Terra's anchor protocol essentially being tapped in via Orion onto other chains and Polygon has now been tapped into. You can get 15% APY on stables, very low risk in my opinion. They've also had a proposal to deploy abracadabra money on the Polygon chain as well. Again, super, super bullish, teaming up with the best in the business. And they're further enabling gaming and NFTs. They've had a partnership here, their Polygon Studios with Avagotchi. So plenty going on here. On top of that, we have Polygon Studios, which was launched, I think, during the back end of the summer, around August time, $100 million worth of investment for upcoming games and NFTs to be deployed. And these guys have partnerships with all the best in the industry, Atari, Animoca, OpenSea, Decentraland, Sandbox, and more down here. So gaming and NFTs certainly coming to this chain. And what do you need if you want millions of players playing your game? You need super low transaction fees. So they're already low transaction fees right now, but if the numbers really swell, of course, transaction fees then go up. But if they're having this ZK Summit and they're going hell for leather to ensure zero knowledge proofs are utilized on their chain, maybe they can get the costs down even further. And this will make a lot of sense for the future of gaming. So let's finish with some on-chain data here and metrics. So Polygon is currently down in position number eight in terms of chains by TVL. Not too far behind Phantom and Tron, may I add, but if we see this Uniswap deployment onto Polygon very quickly, well, we know that Uniswap is gonna bring with it billions of dollars in TVL. They already have 10 billion TVL on Ethereum, but in a low transaction environment, surely you'll get more users utilizing Uniswap and surely you will have over time more liquidity on Polygon as well. So this partnership alone could bolster this number to say maybe another 5 billion. We would then see Polygon up towards position six. But if it really does cement itself as the main scaling solution for Ethereum here, why couldn't it get maybe 10 or 20% of ETH TVL over onto its chain? It's not really a far-fetched statement to make at that point. So what you're saying, maybe 17 to 35 billion, it's gonna be right here near the top of all of the other competitive blockchains out there. So I think the road ahead for Polygon is super bullish. Say it does get a 17 bill TVL, well, its current market cap is just 15. So that will need to go up. Then a quick look at some of the dApps here on Polygon Network. So QuickSwap, the most utilized over the last seven days, 134,000 users. Aave over 100K, Sushi almost 100K. Then we have Arc8 by Game E, one of the coins I invested in. A gaming protocol, 37,000 users. Rev Racing, again, more games, 15K. And Idol Mystic, another game, around eight to 9,000 users. So this chain is being utilized and you can see games are starting to make a significant proportion of this user base. Then we have some more data here from June Analytics. You can see the number of ETH addresses that now hold Matic over time has grown by a load. So back here, 13th of February, 26,000 holders. Now we're up to around 297,000, crazy, crazy increase. And if we think about the total Matic wallets over time here, so May was roughly when they had their peak all-time high price, roughly 280,000 users at that point, but now we have over 800,000 or 850,000 users, but we haven't broke the all-time high. Other stats down here, unique transactions on the chain, pretty much trending sideways here, no huge bullish breakout as of yet. But I think if we were to see all the metrics showing us straight skyscrapers, 
then the price action would have already occurred. And you can see that there was a downtrend in the amount of USDT deposits on Polygon, but this has now leveled off since around the end of October and we're slowly seeing a little bit of a grind up. If you have over 1,000 Matic in your wallet, you are in the top 37,000 people here and you can see there's over 270,000 wallets with one Matic or more. So slowly but surely, the technicals, fundamentals and the on-chain data is suggesting that Polygon potentially is undervalued here and the all-time high break is coming. So I hope you found this video informative. This is a chain with a very bright future here and it is in a trending narrative of zero knowledge proofs and scaling Ethereum, something essential for this crypto space to thrive and hit that real big next leg up. So if you enjoyed the content, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and check out the link down below for Celsius to stake your Matic for roughly 10% APY. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.